Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. And, and Junie and Buggy. Yeah, we got the dogs. And you're not gonna believe this. We are actually all together here in North Carolina. That's crazy, right? We're in North Carolina. We've been driving through the night and through the day. It's like a 16 hour drive to our location uh, to get here. And we are so excited because we're on a family vacation. Yeah. We are in the middle of the game lands out here in Atkinson, North Carolina, about an hour off the coast. And we are here to visit one of my friends, one of my best friends that's been out here uh, for the last year working as a bird biologist in this, in this beautiful country out here. And uh, we're here to hang out with him and do some exciting North Carolina type things like do some herping, do some fishing on the coast. And we're just so excited. And we're so excited to have our little dogs with us. <laughs> So we have a lot of fun things planned this week. And first off, we're gonna go inside and eat lunch with Alex. He's making us some spaghetti. Woo! And then we are gonna go to the aquarium. Yeah, there's an awesome aquarium he's telling us about that we, he's really been wanting us to go to and check out when we got here. So we're excited to go there. So let's go inside, see what Alex is up to. And then we are gonna take off and go to the aquarium. Hey, What's up, dude? Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> you here making us some, some lunch? Yep, a little bit of spaghetti before yeah. we go to the aquarium. That's exciting. Hey, do y'all remember Alex? He was our buddy that helped us retrieve that pelican. That one cool video where the pelican uh, ate that catfish and died. Oh, yeah, now crazy. He's, now, crazy he's, now, now he's cooking, now he's cooking us some uh, pelican spaghetti. Sounds good, right? I love pelican spaghetti. I do too. It's so <laughs> tasty, especially with a little bit of catfish taste in it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some garlic. <laughs> Yeah, that looks good. So I'm excited to eat that, and then we are all excited to go to the aquarium. So we're gonna eat lunch, and then we're gonna head out of here. We'll got, we will see you guys at the aquarium. We made it, guys. We are here at the aquarium. What's this aquarium called again, Alex? Uh, aquarium at Fort Fisher. Aquarium at Fort Fisher? Aquarium at Fort Fisher, guys. So we're gonna go over there and uh, see what kind of cool aquatic sea creatures reside in this building. We're excited. First big stop of the North Carolina tour. Let's go, Jay. You ready? Do they have dolphins here? Do they have dolphins? No. <laughs> no dolphins? <laughs> yeah, dolphins in the ocean though, right? Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, let's, let's see what play. we got. Okay, let's see what we got inside this place. I'm excited. Yeah, I think our turtle thinks we need to make over. Yeah. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh man, look at him. There he is. Two, three, four. Just These are big guys. Under the palms. Look how big he is. Wow. Tina would like you. Thank you, good. <laughs> so beautiful. That is a giant box turtle. These eastern box turtles. Yeah. Wow. He's got his leg hanging off like a water turtle. That turtle is awesome. Guys, we're looking at this aquarium in front of us right now. You're not gonna believe the size of these bluegill in here. There's some copper nose uh, varieties, some red ear, and they're they're massive. They're huge. They're and Cole huge. and I have been wanting to catch some bluegill this size. So if anyone knows of a place where we can do that, be sure to let us know in the comments. Yeah, these <laughs> these things are enormous. Let's turn this camera and get you a good look at them. It's unbelievable. Guys, Jay and I are loving this aquarium so far. There's so many cool things from, like, from the main terrarium, and now we've made it to like the main aquarium exhibit hall. And right behind us is this big tank. There's some. There's a ton of big fish. There's tarpon. There's shark. There's permit. There's jack. And there's a big old sea turtle in there too. We're trying to get a good look at. But I think when we go downstairs, we'll be able to see it. So we're just really impressed. Man, it's a big old tarpon. 
They're huge. Fun fact about me, one time I actually fed a tarpon out of my mouth. That was... I had that a was, minnow in my mouth and I fed a tarpon and yeah. it came up and he busted my nose. That was crazy. <laughs> that probably was not your best decision. It could have broke your nose, but that was crazy. You want to relive that moment? Yeah. Okay. We'll pop a clip of that. Yeah, let's watch. Let's roll the clip for feeding a tarpon out of her mouth because that was insane. <laughs> They're like, who's going to kiss that human? <laughs> oh, he almost did. He came real close. Wiggle it, Jessica. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. I thought it might. You got your nose. Are you okay? Yeah. He's got you. <laughs> This is amazing. Look at all of these Megalodonti in this replica. That thing is huge. You would not want to get eaten by this giant shark. Uh, I took out my arm. Man, it'd be amazing to go try to find some of these teeth. You know, Scott, we're gonna find some teeth. They have dives, you can go out there and find them. It's on our bucket list. Should we go find we, a Megalodonti? Should we go try to find a Megalodonti? Yes. We're going. Let's go find a Megalodon tooth. Yeah, I think that I want to find one that looks like this one right there. Big one. Those are crazy. I think those are all those are all replicas, but still, you get the point. Those are amazing. So the aquarium was awesome, we're outside yes. of it now, and we are about to go do something else that's gonna be almost equally as awesome. So outside of the building, they have this area where they have dug up a bunch of sand from the beach and brought it over here, and we can dig in that sand and find shark teeth. And I think that there could be a megalodon in there. Ooh, that would be cool. There probably isn't a megalodon in there, but we're about to dig deep. And Deeper Alex than everybody. Alex a head start. Alex is still being a dirty dog and getting a head start. So we're gonna dig in that sand so we can find ourselves a couple of shark teeth. Ray J? Ray, you get it. Here is our digging pit. And look at this dirty dog. Getting a head start. Just getting a head start. Comment below right now who you think is going to find the first shark tooth. We're going to have a contest to see who can find A, the first tooth, and B, the coolest tooth. So let's get to digging. I think it's safe to say that I smoked my competition in finding shark teeth. Look at all these little baby shark teeth I found. They're so small, they're so tiny, and they were hard to spot. But with a little bit of extra digging, I was able to uncover, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 little shark teeth. And this is my biggest one. I'm, I'm most proud of, of that one right there. Can you see that? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure what kind of shark these belong to, but they're awesome. But what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna set them down right here for the next generation of shark tooth hunters can just walk up here and have themselves some some gimmies on the top of the surface. Me? Yeah, these are for Alex next time he comes here. So I'm gonna put them all. You gotta hit the jackpot. No them, one's gonna find them right there. I'm gonna put them all right there. A little pile of shark teeth. Disappeared. Here we go. So I'm thinking that maybe that offering the shark teeth back to this area right here will provide us a chance to find some really big megalodon teeth in the future. <laughs> but we're gonna get out of here, head to the beach for a little bit I think, and then we're gonna head back to the field house. So we'll see you guys then. We out here, about to walk the Basin Trail. Look at this, we've only taken another couple of steps and there are just, just a ton of tree frogs up here. 19. How many count, 19? 19. All, I mean, they're all up there, they're up there, in the, up there on the top, on that, on that little uh, beam right there. And then all those guys. Oh my gosh, guys. 
There is a snake on the trail and he is eating another snake. That snake is eating another snake. No way, how did we just happen upon this J? Good spot. I don't know what he's doing. He's dead. Wait, what? Wait, the snake in his mouth is or alive. Is he, Wait, is he choking? He might be choking. Is he choking? Well, the snake that's in his mouth is alive. The one that's not moving might be. But he like choking. barely has the snake's head in his mouth. What do like we do? Barely. What do we do? Do we, pull do, it we out? do we interfere with nature? What do we do, Alex? I gotta go find some birds, dude. <laughs> what do we do? Is he, no, look at his tail. Is he alive? He can't. He's like got it stuck. He's moving a little bit. Yeah, he's alive. I think we separate him. And let him tango again. Yeah. But this snake is dead. No, that snake's alive. This one? Yeah, the one, the one in the mouth is alive. How can you tell? Because he's well, moving. they're both alive. Oh my dead. gosh! Look at him rattling his tail. That's not gonna help, buddy. Oh, smokes. Look at this! The snake is eating another snake! This is so wild! And they're both like not very big snakes. Heck no, dude. This is gonna fill him up. Okay, well, I think that we're just gonna leave it. Let it be, right? Right. Okay, we're just gonna let this be. He probably worked hard to catch that snake. That's freaking crazy. We've walked 15 yards on this trail. We've seen some stick bugs, Busted. some tree frogs, and a snake eating Another snake. That's so wild. That's wicked. Oh. So we've been out here walking around the trail. We had a specific goal in mind when coming out here and that was to bring our nets and catch a species of butterfly neither one of us have ever seen before and have ever, never caught before. And we just did that. We doubled <laughs> up, actually we tripled up. I've got three you've butterflies got, in my net. Oh, you've got three? I've got two in my, actually I've got two in my net. You've got one. And I've got one. Ooh, yours is nice. Look at these butterflies, guys. These are very similar looking to the monarch we had back home in Arkansas. This is called a queen. I believe they're in the same family. And this part of North Carolina is a really good place to find this species of butterfly. So we are very excited to catch one of these. We've never seen one before. This is our very first encounter with this butterfly. I've never even seen one like at a, like at a exhibit or in a butterfly collection. So this is really, really exciting. Mine is all damaged though. Yeah, so. Um, yours, is really, yours is really nice. Mine's pretty good. So what we're going to do, we're going to collect a couple of these and take them back home with us to Arkansas and add them into our butterfly collection. You know, we're trying to find ones that aren't damaged, so Jessica can go ahead and let that one go. But I think this is one that we will keep and put in the collection, so we are very excited that we found a butterfly. Cool. Awesome. We got a butterfly. Go get him. Go get him. On that yellow flower, at the edge, by the bush. Awesome. Oh, there he is. Okay. Got him? Got him! That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Oh, you missed that first one, but you got the second one. Now, this is a different species, right? Right. Yeah. Now, that is a beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. Those are actually probably more pretty than yeah. the queens, but we have these in Arkansas. This is a Gulf fritillary. And his wing's a little damaged. Wing's a little damaged. On the, if you open up their wings, though, it's like a bright orange color. The outside has kind of like that stained glass look to it. Very pretty. There we go. Now you can get a good look at his wings when they're open. Bright orange. And now we're going to send him back into the wild. Ready? Yep. Say bye. One, two, three. Good job. Good catch. Whew. Man, we're wrangling up everything out here in North Carolina. Yeah. Let me tell you something. We like North Carolina. We like it out here.
All right, guys, we have made it out to the beach. Finally, this is Port Fisher Beach out here in North Carolina. This place is gorgeous. It's the first time you know, I've ever stepped foot on an Atlantic coastal beach. We've got the Atlantic coast. Now, you've never seen this part of the world before, so it's really exciting. Beautiful out here. And I think we're going to hang out here for a little bit, walk around, spend find some shells, maybe try to get a game plan of what we're going to do tomorrow. And this is the site where we are going to be ending today's episode. We want to say thank you all for hanging out with us today and traveling along with us all. Everywhere we went today, we did a bunch yeah. of cool things today. And uh, we're looking forward to what the adventure holds tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to go fishing somewhere out here. We don't know where yet, but stay tuned for that video. And if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit the like button for us. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can keep with all of our future outdoor adventures. We're, we're Cole and Jay, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.